<clears throat> all right, Shalom. Shalom. All right, first and foremost, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakodash. All right, give double honors to the elders, apostles at GMS, and salutations and blessings to the Akim around the world, preaching and teaching the truth. All right, we the GMS Memphis Camp. I'm Yakin Okay, and uh, just got a real quick lesson going into uh, man up. Okay, because we we got to be men in this in this truth, man. You know, the Lord requires us to to, to man up. All right, the thing, we, we're gonna go through things. Uh, uh, you know, in this walk. Okay, you're gonna lose some things. You know, but at the end of the day. Hey, you gotta gird up and be a man, okay? That's 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 what's uh, on the line, man. You know, that's what the Lord is building us up to be, is is uh, uh, is men. You know, going back into that ancient spirit, man. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna get a few precepts, and Lord willing, this be an edifying lesson for the elect. Mm -hmm. This is First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse eleven. When I was a child. I spoke, spake as a child. When I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. See, when when you become a man, when you when you become a man, when you come into this faith, man. All right, that's when we learn how to be real men. All right, doing the things that are pleasing to you. How about Shema Shai? Because it doesn't matter about how old you are. It doesn't matter about uh, uh, any of that, man. You know, scriptures tell you about those old old vessels, man, old bottles, you know, that have no knowledge, okay? At the end of the day, if, if uh, you become a man, when you start to uh, do the will of your house by Shema Shai, man, and serve him in truth and sincerity, man, okay? Putting away childish things, man. You know, like we just had a, a, a so-called Christmas holiday this weekend, man. You had grown men basically uh, going broke behind a holiday that's, you know, uh, satanic, man, okay? And it's, and it's uh, uh, basically a folly day at the end of the day, man. You know, you doing all of that for nothing, man. You know, so you you become a man, you know, in this truth, once you once you uh, come to serve your house by Shema Shah, man, you gonna, he, he's gonna guide you down that path of uh, uh, the, the the ancient ways, man. Matter of fact, get get that, bro. And uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Jeremiah said, "Follow the old path." Mm -hmm. Cause that's that's the way that's that's uh, you know, going to make us yep. into men. Uh. This is Jeremiah six and sixteen. Thus said the Lord, "Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths." Where is the good way? Walk therein, and you shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. Yeah, a lot, a lot of Jake men say they will not walk therein, man. They want to stay uh, in that in that childish spirit, man. You know, being a being a a, a simpleton, man. You know, just just following the sports. What what is it that Jake Jake uh, want to do? Well, you for one, you you chase women. You know, smoking. chase women, smoking weed, uh, uh, watching sports. Man, when you have getting rich goals. Yeah, and, and chasing chasing money, man. You know, <laughs> and that's it. That's all, and that's childish. All those things are childish because none of that is going to lead you into uh, salvation, man. Mm -hmm. All right? But what we're doing, you know, is, is, is leading us down the path of salvation. We're following the old paths, man. You know, like it tells you in uh, Sirach 2 and 10. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get that too real quick. Right now. It is Sirach chapter 2, verse 10. Yep. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Mm -hmm. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? See, who did he ever despise that called upon him, man? So if you come into the Lord in sincerity and in truth, man, you, you're going to be uh, shielded and protected, man. All right? And the Lord is going to continue to build up your faith, man. That's why scriptures say, look at generations of old. Look at the men of old. 
that have uh, uh, followed the way of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Those were real men. Mm -hmm. Okay? Real men. Those were real <laughs> men right there, hey, man. Hey, John was out there eating locusts and honey. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, Ezekiel, which, which I got that uh, precept down, man. Ezekiel had to eat cows down, man. He had to eat cow shit. Man for this. And, <laughs> and uh, the Lord killed his wife, man. Mm. All right, he took his wife away and told him he, he better not cry, man. Let's get, uh, matter of fact, get yeah, get All that, right. bro. And these are, these, these are the uh, men that we have to look at and see, hey, hey. This is spirit you have to come in, man. This is spirit you have to be in. Willing to uh, lose it all for you have by Shema Shah, man. You got to be a man. Mm -hmm. You got to make a choice on what's important to you, man. What What's what's most important in, in, in your life, man? All right? That's growing up. That's putting away childish things, man. You got to grow up, man. Mm -hmm. All right? And you got to grow in this truth. You got to grow. All right, you can't just uh, uh, be a yeah, be a stagnant guy. You sitting back holding the camera, on the side. <laughs> sitting back holding the side. Uh, only precept you know is is uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight. Yeah, and, precept, uh, brother, brother. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah, Joel nine twenty four. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta eat. Hey, yeah, you gotta, you gotta grow, man. You know, cause we're coming in a time. Well, hey, you're gonna have to be you gonna have to be a man. You gotta be able to hold your own. You know? You got it. This is Ezekiel 24, verse 15 through 18. Also the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thy eyes with a stroke. Yet neither should thou mourn nor weep. Neither should thou tears run down. Yeah. Hey, to basically tell me, hey, don't mourn, don't cry. <laughs> What I'm about to do, you just gonna have to keep moving, keep keep teaching. Man. You know, don't cry. You got it. For bear to cry, make no mourning for the dead. Bind the tire of thy head upon thee, and put on thy shoes upon thy feet, and cover not thy lips, and eat not the bread of men. Mm -hmm. So I spake unto the people in the morning, and in the evening my wife died, and I did in the morning as I was commanded. See, uh, he, he did what he was commanded, man. And that's a man. That's a man of the Lord, man. How many men can say they 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 able to do that, man? Your wife, uh, uh, leave you. The Lord take your wife from you, man, and you you don't even shed a tear. You man. gotta just keep pushing. Hey, Lot, he did it, man. You know, Job. Job. Hey, you, man, Jake got to get his head out these women ass, man. You know. And I'm speaking of men and the truth, man. You, you, you know, Jake. Jake is uh, like the brother in uh, Chicago say, man. Everybody a king until the woman get involved, man. Yeah. Then, then you like that king in, in Second Ezra's, man. That basically let the concubine uh, slap him in the face and yeah, took the crown. Yeah, the con yeah. concubine slapped him, took his crown, basically turned him into a simp. Man. Yeah. This how you know that uh, it wasn't nothing for the Lord to take away there from Ezekiel. Mm -hmm. This is desire in the uh, Oxford American Dictionary. It basically breaks down and said a wish, a want. Uh, it say lust. See, it say lust. And then let you know that those things, hey, it's a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen. Right. So here it is. If you put those things of the world in front of you and don't put your how about your mouth shot as your first goal, the Lord going to punish you for that because he right. a jealous power. Right. You can't have all these other idols and then serve him like everything cool. You can't put your woman first. You can't put money first. And that's what makes Jake childish yep. because he know that adds up to nothing. Yep. But he still do it anyway. That's a, that's a childish uh, behavior. Yep. A manly behavior, hey, what it tell you? That the uh the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth mm -hmm. himself. Yep. All right, we see everything coming to an end. All right, everything is in the work from the famine, from the from Revelations 13 to 16, the chip. Yep. All right, this year is about to go crazy, man. And you gotta be willing to uh sacrifice. Can I get this right quick, brother? Yeah, you got it, bro. This is Romans 12 and 1. This 
I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto your how about Shem which is your reasonable service. Which is your reasonable service. You, you know, yeah. So we got to do the things that's pleasing unto your how about Shem and not trying to chase our desires. Yeah. You know, because we desire women and things, but it's, it's, not, it's, it's not the time for Yeah, that. It's, it's carnal. It's, it's the least of us. All right, we got to, what Elder Yashawan would say, we got to think high mind. Right. You, you know, gotta be on the, uh, you got to have, keep that king, kingly uh, uh, mentality, man. Mm -hmm. That king, that be kingdom minded, like the brother Yashawan's uh, channel. Mm -hmm. All right. We got to, we got to stay in that, that uh, kingly mindset, knowing if we if we go through the suffering right now, we gonna we gonna get it all back in the end, man. man. Jake got to be patient, man, and that's part of uh, uh, manning up, man. You know, being patient, knowing that hey hey, now is not the time, man, to to uh, fulfill all the wants and desires of the flesh, man. Don't get too comfortable. Right. <laughs> yep. This is Isaiah 38 and 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man, yep. for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. See? Hey, read it in the NLT. This is Job 38 and 3 in the NLT. Brace yourselves like man, because I have some question for you, and you must answer them. See? The Lord, hey, the Lord, everybody gonna be tested, man. Mm -hmm. Everybody gonna have to go through that trial, man. Mm -hmm. So, hey, you better gird up, man. The Lord telling you right now. Get ready. Gird up like a man. All right? It, it, that's what I'm requiring of you, man. Especially if you're a, a, a man out here pushing a, a, the Lord's uh, word, man. Hey. All right? He called you <laughs> into his marvelous light to do, do his will and do his work. Man. Hey, you you got to get on that level, man. man. You got to cast aside emotions and feelings and, you know, not to say... Uh, we don't care about our families or we don't care about anything else, but we prioritize what what's uh what's you know what's right, man. Yeah. Okay? You put you put your how about shim out shot first, man. That's what a man does, man. You don't put family first or the uh, or the you know, needs of the flesh, you know. You you you're being weak, man. Yeah. All right? Hey uh Scripture tell you put to, uh put out that weak nature, man. Oh, yeah. All right. Second uh, I got this I got a man in the blue letter Bible. Strong's age thirteen ninety seven. And it means a man, a strong man, a warrior mm. emphasizing strength or the ability to fight. Ooh, come on, man. <laughs> the ability hey, to fight. Man. Fight the good fight of faith. Yep. Lay hold on eternal lay hold on eternal life, man. That's what we doing. That's mainly what we in here for. Yep. All right, we not in here to please the desires of our of our flesh. Mm -hmm. All right, we in here to fight our own self. Yep. We in here to fight the the women. Hey, that, that's the that's things. the main battle, man. Hey, Just yourself. Fight yourself, yeah. That old nigga, man, mm -hmm. he, he gonna keep on pop try to pop up. Like a Yashima so you gotta get that nigga head shot, man. <laughs> you gotta just put him down completely. Man. Cause he gonna try to keep popping up, man. And that's why I say the ability to fight. Because ultimately that fight is within us, man. We know that the king hey, what do you have I say? The king, king of the heaven, heaven is within, within you. you. So if it's within you, guess what, man? You gotta put on a fight to bring it out. Yep. You know, you gotta hey, you gotta walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the uh, lust of the flesh. That's right. I know because hey, them that put the lust of the uh, them that Basically, sold to the flesh, reap destruction. Reap destruction, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, because hey, ultimately, man, you you're letting that 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 uh part of you win. The flesh is overcoming the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. And what is that gonna lead to? Death, man. Yep. <laughs> That's gonna ultimately lead to death, man. Hey. You can get a revelation. Come, come, yep. This is Revelation 21 and 3. I heard a great voice of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of the Most High is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And you have about Shema Rashad himself shall be with them and be their power. Oh, hey, the tabernacle. Read that again. The tabernacle of. This is Revelation 21 and 3. 
And I heard every great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of Yahweh Bashim Shai is with men. So the tabernacle of Yahweh Bashim Shai is with men. All right? And that's plain and simple right there, man. Mm -hmm. the, the tabernacle of Yahweh Bashim Shai is with men. The Lord is dealing with the men. All right? And, and you have to come back into that manly spirit, man. You got to man up, man. All right? Like we just read in um, Job, man, the Lord requires that of you, man. Okay? For you to man up. Okay? Put off that weak nature, man. The hell with, uh, uh, you know, how your woman feels about yeah. you going out with the brothers, you you with the brothers so, too much, yeah. this, that, and the other, man. You know, hey, you got to shake that shit off, man. You know? Because at the end of the day, man, that woman can't save you. She cannot deliver you. Uh, All right. <coughs> I got one. Get that in. Uh, oh, okay. You got it. This yeah. is Ezekiel 34 and 31. Ye are my flock. The flock of my pasture yeah. are men, and I am your power, said the Lord, your how about your mama shy. And right. the reason why the Lord deal with the man, because we have a fight, we have a a, a fighting spirit within us. Right. You know, we stand for something. The women, they easily deceive. That's why they like shiny things they like little kids all right they carnal like things. yeah they like carnal things i right. only i don't like no man that work nine to five mm -hmm. i don't like no man that wear red shoes it's like they just keep coming with excuses right all right that's why the lesson is called man up right. because we mainly talking to the men yep. you know because we know that the man has the majority of the power and he's the head of the household so if the man is in order guess what the women gonna be in order yep. We're the reason that's, why you women act the way you do. Yep, that's why Esau <laughs> did what he did by basically taking a man out of the household man, because he knows, in the front. man, he, he knows what he what 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 uh you know having an Israelite man in the household can do, man. You know, he took away that structure, okay. And what do you have now, man? A bunch of misguided uh, gremlins out here in the world, man. Okay, you got a bunch of women out of control, you know, that don't know, don't know what's going on, but hey, the Lord is coming back, man, to, uh, uh, to restore order, so to speak, man, yeah. all right, things are about to get back in order, man, and he's starting with the men first, man, okay, yeah. so hey, men have to, uh, get in that spirit, man, of, uh, uh, you know, the ancient spirit, man, you know, being willing to uh, uh, cast aside everything, man, for your how about your mouth shot, man. Sacrifice. Whatever sacrifice, man. Whatever it is, you got. We got to go through it, man. You know, and we're 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 at the end now, man. So this is this is just you know what's required. This is part of a uh, uh, counting cost, as the scriptures say. So uh, I got one more for you. Okay, and then we'll get uh, Isaiah and close. This is uh, John 4 and 23. But the hour will come, in, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So the true worshipers are the ones that put in that sacrifice, man. That's right. All right? Forget if you people think that we, we cold-hearted because we saying we're going to give up our family, wives, and all that for the truth. Right. Man, that's, we, we coming into an understanding that, hey, that the Lord requires a sacrifice, man. Yeah. If you want, if you call yourself a Christian, a die-hard Jesus, yeah. juice fanatic person, right, right, right. hey, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta, be, you gotta know His up. judgment. Yeah. yeah, you gotta give something up, man. And you people don't know nothing about sacrifice. Yeah. Only the brother that's in the truth. All right, starting with the apostles and elders. All right, all the way down to the least brother know about sacrifice, man. That's right. All right, because you people, y'all ain't lost none yet, man. Y'all, you know, but you about man. to. You about to lose a lot. You about to. <laughs> you about to know uh, mm -hmm. the loss, what, what what it is to, to lose, man, to take L's, man. Yeah. All right, because you got you got the men of the Lord, man. We taking L's daily, man. Mm -hmm. Brothers around here sick. We were just speaking on that, man. You got brothers sick everywhere, man. Mm -hmm. They blowing chemtrails all over the place. Brothers, women acting a damn fool, man. Mm -hmm. If you got one, more likely, man, she acting a damn fool, man. Brothers catching hell on the job. Esau eat them. Yeah. You know, the heat is turning up, man. So, hey, it's been required 
for us to man up more and more. All right? Mm -hmm. The Lord is, is requiring that of us, man. Hey, it takes a man to rule the kingdom. <coughs> it, it, take, right. it takes a man to rule the kingdom, man. All right? Hey, man come in all sizes. I'm young. This brother older than me. But yeah. well, we all, we, we on the same page of the kingdom, though, man. Yeah. All right? Hey, get that uh, Isaiah 46 and end it. This is Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves mm -hmm. men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Bring it again to mind. Yeah. You know, so hey. you got to remember that you got it. Hey, our writing is a dirty as 50 red. Yeah. So we got to bring this to mind daily. Yeah. We got to fast. We got to make sure that we with brothers 24 8. Mm -hmm. You know, we got to make sure that we on point, man. We can't, we can't, hey, we, we not in a position. To go off, we, we really need to walk on eggs here. Yeah, we too late in the game to, to yeah. get comfortable, man, and, and get cute in this thing, man. Mm. Now's the time, man, to hey, gird up, man, and go hard. All right, man up, you know, mm -hmm. man up, man. We at the end, you know. So, you had anything else? Mm -hmm. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson for the elect. Once again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, by the Shem, Yahweh Shai, by the Shem, Akakwadash. Give double honors to the elders, apostles, and GMS. Salutation and blessed to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. <clears throat>